I have made the decision that instead of putting disqualifications on the sex files, I'm just going to give them their own separate video. It doesn't seem fair to put good movies on a video entitled The Sex Files, so I feel this is more respectful and more accurate. This time around, we've got two disqualifications. These were both requests. Um, they are The Mummy Returns and The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Now, the reason these films are disqualified is because they are not what I consider horror films. They are fantasy films. Which, uh, sorry to say, because the original was such a good horror film. It's kind of odd. The Mummy Returns actually has a storybook ending as the beginning. Uh, you see, after the Mummy, Rick and Evie got together. They had a son who's much like both of them. They go on digs together. Evie is much more adventurous than she was before. And certainly seems more capable of handling herself, and she is. They all live in a really big house. They got artifacts everywhere and statues and all that sort of thing. It feels like the kind of house that Evie and Rick would live in. Evie is also well respected by the Pembridge scholars now. They, in fact, want her to run a museum. So, I like that they did that. There's a lot of films where the sequel makes me absolutely hate the writers because they start off the main characters in such a poor condition. I don't feel that it's right that people would suffer between movies and all of a sudden everything's hunky-dory in the second film. So this was nice. As far as my feelings towards the movie, I felt that they overused the CGI a little bit. They went heavier on the comedy. I think they were trying to make this more of a family film than a horror film, which I don't like either. And other than that, there was some nice action, good music, and this film was still entertaining. It's just not the kind of film I want to review. So, it's worth watching. It's just not going to be the same as the original. As far as the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is concerned, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, because I only watched 15 minutes of the film. And the reason I stopped watching is because I saw the first 15 minutes of the film. I did not like how this was turning out. It feels like the same plot as the first two, only in China, and my god, it didn't work in Friday the 13th. Why would it work here? <sighs> the whole idea is that in China, there aren't mummies, there's just a huge army that has been turned to stone, and the Dragon Emperor, as he's called by the title, is the Emperor who conquered all of China. He mastered the five elements and was looking for a way of making himself immortal, but when he pissed off the witch that was supposed to make him immortal, she cursed him and his entire army. Ben's on an excavation there. That, that's who I think is the name of Evie and Rick's child. Why he's there, I don't know, because his mother was always teaching him about Egyptian archaeology. And as far as Rick and Evie are concerned, when I saw Rick fly fishing, I knew I was not going to like this film too much. When I saw Evie being played by a different actress who does not have the magnetism that Evie had, I was turned away very quickly. So yeah. If you agree with my opinions, or what I assess of these films, just good for you. If you don't, okay, let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm not really going to be able to give you much of a good opinion on The Dragon Emperor, because I only saw the first 15 minutes. But in that, I pretty much saw this was not going to be a horror film. Not 
Not like it was for the first film. Anyway, good night.